but um, I'm going to be decluttering this room a little bit today. Some of them I am keeping because they, um, they're, they're precious to me. Today is a, a glorious day of uh, decluttering, and because of that, you're getting me in my full gloriousness of uh, a zit right here and no makeup. And yeah, we're just we're just gonna do that today. But um, I'm going to be decluttering this room a little bit today, and my bookshelf over here is going to be decluttered. The two shelves that I have recently made. I'm going to be putting some of these items down on those shelves that are here on my bookshelf. And then I also plan on making another shelf in my room sometime, putting some of those items in there too. So we're gonna start doing this today and get some stuff cleaned out. So let's go. Alrighty, let's get on with this. So, this room is usually the dumping ground for everything in the house that kind of has a home but doesn't really have a home because it's just the one where I can close the door and keep things out of sight. So, I am decluttering it again for like the hundred millionth time like I normally do because that's what I always do. One thing I find that's funny um, whenever I have to declutter things is I always make a mess as I'm starting to declutter things. So I had some picture frames that I'm going to be putting into my room in my closet and um, this basket right here is full of things that need to be donated. This is just stuff that's going to stay in here because it's laundry baskets. And then this basket right here is to do some photos for and a couple other items that are similar like that. So some of the stuff is going to stay in here. Other stuff will stay in here until I donate it. Other stuff will go in my room or in different places um, for their new home. So I always have to make a mess before I see some differences. So um, I'm gonna keep going. <music> So now that I have the room cleaned up, um, the basket on the chair and then the box underneath the chair, those are donate. The stuff, that box right there is Ikea stuff. Those are just my baskets I'm keeping there, my laundry, hangers, and then Harrison's old 3T clothes that he no longer fits in, the pillow that I mistakenly bought from Ikea, and then diapers I need to sell because we moved Harrison out of those into nighttime because he he's out of them and then the rest of the stuff that's just been in here that I'm keeping in here. So now that that is done it's time to work on this. There's going to be some things I'm going to get rid of because it's not worth having around like um, these old um, chair feet thingies. This, I honestly, it broke. I love it, but I don't know how I'm going to fix it because um, I don't have clamps that'll hold it together. So I've tried to think of ways to do it and I've tried to do it before, but it just hasn't held up. So I'm just going to throw this away because it's broken and I have no way to repair it. So... As you can see, I have a 
lot of camera equipment. I'm not decluttering this. I'm keeping it. And it's going in a new home. Next up is my books. Um, a lot of these books I'm not going to give away. There's going to be some books I will give away because I've never read them and I never... I don't have a need for them. Some of them I am keeping because they, um, they're, they're precious to me. Books are precious to me. My major in college was English, English literature. And so I love reading books. With ADD, it's a nice way to immerse myself in another place and get out of the world that we're living in because sometimes it sucks, sometimes it's boring. And I just like a good book. So a lot of my books I am keeping. Some of them I am going to get rid of. And right now is the part where we're going to work on getting rid of the ones that we no longer want. And keeping the ones that we're going to keep. Like Harry Potter. Because Harry Potter ain't going anywhere, guys. I love Harry Potter. And who can say they have an old copy of Dracula? The copyright says uh, 1897. So I have no idea if it is that old or what, because there's nothing else that says otherwise. This is where the books that I don't know if I want to keep are at, so. Some of them I'm going to get rid of, others I am keeping, and I'm going to start going through them now and determining what I want to keep. Now there are a lot of books on these bottom shelves that I actually kept from the days of my college years. And I've kept them thinking, oh these were good books because most of them I enjoyed reading. But I told myself I'm going to keep these books because maybe I'll read them sometime in the future. Or as Harrison gets older, he'll want to read them. But I never touched them. And I decided some of them I'm just going to get rid of and keep the literary classics because those are the ones that are pretty important regardless of if I like them or not. So I decided to keep those and get rid of the other ones. Okay, so books are done. These ones are donate. These ones right here are keep. So I'm going to start looking for their their home, their new home. I can donate this. I have another one. I never use this one. All right, so I have these little tote boxes that I'm going to put the books in and put them up on my top shelf. Um, this one, this one is stuff that I've taken away from Harrison that needs to stay away. So I'm gonna put that over here and open up. My other one where I've got more in here. So we're gonna use these two and then see what else I need later.
Okay, I don't know how well you can see up there, but all of my books are up here. Okay, so downstairs on my... So downstairs on my entertainment center, I had this little basket. I am actually going to put it here in my closet and use one of the wicker baskets from Ikea and hold some of these books in there instead. There we go. Okay. Now all of my books are up there. So I ended up putting my picture frames back there. The plan was to stick them here in the corner, but there's no room for them after everything got put up in here. So they're going back there. It is cleared off other than the few things up top that I just need to grab as soon as I get a chair. Um, this is what's left, but like I said, this is books I am donating. And so there is a book bin next to my local grocery store. I'm going to go take those two. And then this stuff I just need to find homes for. Um, a lot of it's just like my camera bags and um, some more photos and my photo scanner. So I'm probably going to put the stuff in here. And then it's pretty much done. Some dirt. Okay, guess what? Should we tell everybody about the update to the room? Ta-da! So, everything is pretty much all cleaned out. We had the dog kennels right here, so we moved them, and as you can tell, they're not there anymore. So the only stuff we have in here is Harrison's old crib stuff, which we'll keep in here. And then some of the other stuff, you know, like that pile of stuff right there, that stuff that I need to donate. And uh, I was given stuff by my grandparents. So that has been added to the pile. But yeah, um, it's really nice having this room empty. I quite like it, as you you can tell. Um, but yeah, it's, it, it's really nice having it empty like this. So I just wanted to show you the update and uh, pretty much about it so I'm really bad about ending vlogs so I'm going to be ending the vlog here with the dogs trying to lick the crap out of me so um, I hope you guys enjoyed my very lazy impromptu cleanup of the of the stuff in this room so uh, check back soon for some more decluttering videos and um, more day in life so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.